So hello there. So this is uh, on the continuing 009 theme. So the other night I had uh, decided I wanted to try and do myself a little 009 diesel shunter. I've got another one of the Kato chassis. This is, um, I think it's 104. Um, it's a bit old, but it, it's, it's quite useful. And I've built this little shunter. So what I've done, um, the bonnet is actually off a Juf Ho uh, large Bobo diesel that I had kicking around I'd used for another project so that's been lowered shortened and narrowed which was quite a project and in fact you can see the white line down the bonnet and that's where I had a few problems with it um, and that's been infilled with plastic card but once that's painted that'll just look like panel lines the advantage is obviously is I've got a radiator grill I've got a uh, little grills high definition grills down the bottom there which I couldn't scratch build um, I've got a nice trim along the edge of the bonnet so that gives me quite a bit of detail then what I've done I've tried to make the cab a little bit different so you can just see that there's some little detailing on the windows there little cutouts I've got an exhaust stack up the middle on the back I've got not completely square windows now I don't know if we can just change the angle if I pull it forward a little bit you can see the couplings so what I've got here, these are the Pico 009 couplings and, and they've also got some of their adapters to fit it on. They're a little bit expensive, they work out at about £2, £2.50 a coupling, but they do work really well. I was experimenting last, no last night, just tap them underneath and they uncouple, so much better than trying to use N-Gage. So some of the other detail there, then I've got steps front and rear. I've got boxes underneath the sole bar which are from the coach that I cut up to make my 009 rail bus. So they have probably can't quite see in the photo, but they've got lots of detail on there again, which will come out quite nicely when it's dry brushed. The buffers come off uh, a 00 wagon chassis I had, and they've just been cut off and stuck on. So I'm actually more than a little bit pleased with that because that's actually quite a detailed loco. It's gonna look more like a commercially available one by the time it's painted up with all the grills and the detail. Not very difficult to do. It took me about, about four hours to get it to that stage. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. So um, something a little bit different. I know there's a lot of 009 fans out there. I might tinker with this for a little while. I've got some more 009 projects. I just haven't got a layout to run them on. So we'll have to build a layout. But I'm rather pleased with that. That's gonna look rather nice. And being a Kato chassis, that'll run up and down quite nicely. And here we are, finished. Uh, as I promised, we would do a little update. So you can see now it's all been, um, all the details have been added. So we've got steps front and rear. I've got the boxes underneath all painted. We have um, handrails at the front and on the cab. All the windows are glazed. And then at the back you can see we've got quite a nice paint detail there. Now, I wish I could pretend I've got a really steady hand and I'm that good a painter, but actually uh, Douglas printed that off for me um, on a printer. It's just on printer paper and then stuck on, but you can't actually see that it's not painted on there. So that's a really neat way of doing it. I've picked out the buffers. We've got the grills in the side and we've got the uh, exhaust and everything all in the top, all painted a different color. And so um, there you go. I'm, I'm more than a little bit pleased with that. Now, given that, for instance, the mini train's very basic 009 shunter is, is £105. Um, and that, which I can't see, is it's, if anything, it's more detailed. Um, that's taken me about five or six hours to build. Um, you've got the chassis in there that would have cost me about 12 or £15. You've got the Pico 009 couplings. They are a bit pricey. Um, they, they work out at about £2.50 a coupling once you've got the mounting blocks and the coupling. But they work superbly, much, much better than trying to do an 009. So it probably cost me just under about 20 quid to make that, um, given that a lot of it was from the spares box. So it's a big difference to, to 105. And obviously being a Kato chassis, it will run really well. So as always, uh, like, comment or subscribe on that. Just give you a little heads up then on some of the other projects I'm working on in 009. So there, for instance, we've got, um, I'll move it around a little bit, a little, a little tank wagon uh, that I'm working on. Let's move it this way so you can see it. Could you zoom out a little bit, please, cameraman? There we go. So that's a, a TT uh, tank wagon that I hand. So I've taken the body, I've put that on one of the standard Pico 
uh, 15 foot N-gauge chassis. Um, there we go, that's our YouTube pen that I'm using as a pointer. Uh, and again, I've put the Pico couplings on. It, it does make these about, um, about eight pound each uh, to start off with, but a new Pico 09 wagon is 16. So I am quite happy with that really. I only need to make three or four um, and I'm done. So there we go. Uh, 009 coming along quite nicely. All I've got to do now is build a layout to run it on. Uh, as always, like, comment or subscribe. And what's the other thing we'd ask people to do? Share. Share. Apparently is the big thing. It would be really nice if you'd share our videos as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.